Hey guys. <clears throat> Yay, who's ready to get started? I'm going to give it a few minutes for people to hop on. I am. I'm so excited. Let's see who we have here. Let's see. Let's just invite some people. Let's invite some friends because thank you, Facebook, for allowing me to invite friends now. Yay. All right, let's see. face who y'all feel like it's time to go to nine night not time to put makeup on okay not you're gonna have to stop it i really hope i don't have to deal with this all night hey cooper you need to stop little instigator phyllis hey girl how are you yay you were able to catch it live hey heather hey girl how are you Oh, thank you, Karen. Thank you, thank you. Tonight is going to be, I'm going to wait just a few minutes before we get started. But we're going, I'm doing a mystery hostess. I've never done this. And um, I'm excited to see how it goes. But I'm more excited to see my new um, palette. Great. Yes, finally. I know. I know. It's exciting. Um, the new Beloved palette, which is in the kudos for this month. It's right here. Oh, I'm so excited, y'all. I've 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 waited. Sit down, Coop. Um, to open this and use it because I was waiting to share with y'all. And I'm so excited. So let's just get started. I've got to do something with my face first. So we're gonna do this is what tonight's gonna be. Tonight's gonna be full glam. I'm going to um start to finish. Get ready. I'm going to use the new... Oh, jeez. Help me. Knox. I'm babysitting my grand dog, Phyllis. His name is Knox, and he is a blue tick hound. And he's big. And I have a little, a little Koopy dog. His name's Cooper. And Knox is... Let me show you how big he is now. Let me just show you. Let's see. Knox. And then Cooper is right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this room, Phyllis, I don't know. I don't think you've been on it while well, I've talked about it. But my daughter, Paige, just got married. And this was her bedroom. And I'm turning it into... I, you saw your baby, yes, your big baby. I'm trying to, you know, do this little online thing while your baby's making me crazy. So you tell Lenny you gotta go. Cooper is hiding, he's under my feet. So anyway, Phyllis, this was Paige's room and now that she's out, I'm, I was gonna get rid of the headboard but now she needs it for a spare bedroom and it's got junk in it. It's, it's going to be my little makeup room, and I'm so excited. I, I have half of it cute, and the other half is a project for tomorrow. Landa, girl, are you on here? Hey, sweet friend that I haven't talked to in forever. Hey. Okay, so let's see. Cleansed our face with the Pore Pure Fine Cleanser. Thank you for sharing. Yay, thank you. You have a junk room too? My house isn't big enough to have a junk room. I need this room. The junk's got to go. <laughs> um, Pore Pure Fine Cleanser is one of my, it is my favorite. It has um, little granules in it, just little beads. And it's really good for getting in your pores and, and cleaning out all of the dirt and oil and and sweat and grime. Um, this is for normal to oily and we have one for normal to dry. 
So now let's put on some moisturizer and I'm using the Renewing Day Cream and it has an SPF of 20 which is really good um, for the day. I, I'm not going to put on night cream because I'm putting on makeup and you don't want to use a night cream under makeup because it's heavier. But I have to have something on my face. I have to. So I'm just going to. Uh, it smells really good too. I'm going to. Um, just put some moisturizer on before I get started. I'm a firm believer in some skincare, y'all. I do not want wrinkles. No, I do not. I want to take care of my skin. I do not have rosacea, but my cheeks are always rosy. I don't know why. Actually, right here it is broken capillaries from when I was a teenager and had acne and would pop them and that's horrible 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 i wished i knew about skincare when i was a teenager because it would have prevented all of this okay we're gonna let that sit just for a second has everyone had dinner already i had a real quick um linguine out of the freezer nobody's here it's just me I didn't have time to cook anything and I've eaten up all my leftovers so I just popped a little linguine in the microwave this okay let me just tell you all about this I I'm just like this is air Ooh. this is air down here in the bottom this is just about gone and I opened this when um, I joined Unique last March. My Y anniversary is coming up. Anyway, this is how long it's lasted. This is our face primer. You still get blemishes? Some people have hormonal acne. Is it, um, are they deep or are they like on top of your skin? Oh, it's only 4 o'clock there. I forget about that. Nice. I'm going to tell your mama on you. Um, so anyway, our face primer is fabulous. It is going to fill in fine lines and creases. It's going to fill in your, in your pores, but it's not going to clog your pores. You can see it's clear. It's silicone based and it's um, safe for sensitive skin. On top and itchy. Oh, so they're little bitty ones, aren't they? Um, this also helps your makeup stay on longer. Oh, your kids just got home. You probably have to go fix them a little snack, don't you? So it doesn't take much. That's why this has lasted so long. Phyllis, do you use a good, um, mask? You should have gotten the no, -no. Knox, your mama said for me to get you no no. He said, What? Paige, I hope you're at church and not driving while you're texting. Olive Olay. Um, you know Olive Olay is not I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna say anything bad about other products, but Olive Olay is not good for oily skin. Don't laugh. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. I have a friend that uses it. But it's not good for oily skin. And extra oil is what produces that. And it sounds like to me you need a good mask. Because it sounds like your pores are clogged. And that's, they kind of go boop like that to get the, the stuff out. Sometimes it's a harder piece. And sometimes it's a little bit liquid. But um, I would get a good mask. And if you um, if you get a mask, do not get one that has any granules in it if you have active bumps because that will irritate it. Get a clay-based. But if you don't have any blemishes, get you one with some granules and just... Yeah, get, yeah, I know. I've had it. I know. That's why I think skincare, good skincare is so important. Okay, so now we have our primer on. We have our moisturizer and our primer. This and Epic are my two absolute favorite products that Unique has right now. The um, thumbs up. Is that you, Karen? 
the um, the foundation. Oh my goodness, geez, have mercy. They're gonna knock over my coffee cup. Excuse me. Well, I beat a dog. Um, the Liquid Touch Foundation, you're going to see for, Phyllis, I don't know if you've seen me do a full glam before or not, but the coverage is incredible. It's liquid, which I've never used liquid makeup until this because I've, watch his tail, what's his tail doing? Because I, um, felt like I needed... Oh, yeah, I know. But I'm I'm in the room with... It. I'm up high. Um, this... <laughs> I don't even know. I'm trying to answer comments while I'm talking. Uh, I've never used liquid before because I felt like I needed a creamy, a cream base that was going to have enough coverage to cover up all of this. And when I found this, I started using mascara with Unique. And then my friend who I bought it from was like, well, you tried the, the foundation. And I was blown away, and that's when I started selling it, because I was like, this stuff is so good. I need to be making money, because I'm going to be telling everybody, and they're going to buy it, so I might as well make some money while I'm using it. And I get a discount, lifetime discount. So that's a bonus right there. Okay, so it comes in a dropper. You want to empty the dropper, shake it up really well before it... Okay, Ma, I see you're on, and your foundation is in. I'll bring it down tomorrow. You want to come wrangle some dogs? <laughs> Whew. Um, our liquid foundation brush is one of my favorite brushes. You can see it's angled, and it's really good for getting in places that just your typical whatever brush that you would use is going to do. Don't use a sponge because that's going to collect and hold too much foundation, too much product. This also has a little, if you can see, it has a little well in the middle of it. And this is so you can put serum in here. Like we have some really good serum for your face for extra moisture. moisture. Um, but you just take it and I'm just going to put a few drops on it. Oh, I hear some growling. I hope, is the lighting okay, y'all? Do I need to make it brighter? And it's so lightweight, and it's not pore clogging, which was amazing, which blew my mind because I was so used to, you can see a big difference, big difference. Oh, the lighting's good? Okay, good. Oh, Karen, 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 Karen. Go. The brush, I want to say, is 32, but I may be wrong. It may be 29. It may be 100. I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. It's not 100. But you can see it does not take much foundation at all. Always be easy under your eyes, girls. We do not want wrinkles before we're supposed to have them. And then we don't want them then. I can't see. Sorry, it's hard to put your makeup on. Oh, it's hard to put your makeup on in a phone camera. Okay, and I've got one more little spot right here that I'm just going to put a little tiny drop. Uh, thank you, Phyllis. I'm, I, I used to be so self-conscious. Oh, geez, both dogs. Ooh. I think Cooper just got him. I used to be really self-conscious, and I used to never go anywhere without makeup on, but my skin's gotten a lot better, and now I'm like, Psh. oh, gee. Yeah, they're fighting. They're just going to have to fight. Okay. Another product that I absolutely love that, for whatever reason, Unique likes to make me sad. You hear knocks in there, sis? He's boo. <laughs> there he goes. 
Um, it makes me so sad that they've discon oh. they're discontinuing it. This is the last month you can get it, but this lasts for ever. This is yeah, I know. This is Unique's um, powder concealer, and I don't know if you can see it, but it's very fine, just like our setting powder. So it's not going to be heavy and sit in fine lines. This is the lightest color. It comes in several shades. This is the lightest shade, and I use it as a highlight under my eyes, and that was a lot. Oh, this is our concealer powder brush, which I also love. Karen, I see you, girl. Hey. Okay. Big difference, big difference. I never realized how younger you can look and how your eyes are more wide and open when you lighten underneath. You can also use, we have a, uh, I don't know where mine is, a cream concealer as well that I used before I got this and I used this brush with it too, to lighten oh. under your eyes. But it, it makes a really big difference. Can y'all hear him? Oh, here they come. No, snappers, no! Oh. I, I heard you in there. You leave Mama's Kippy alone. He's like, okay. Oh. He wants to play so bad. Would you please? Oh, well, Cooper will get him. Okay. What pro it's the um, the powder concealer that they're discontinuing at the end of this month. It'll be gone. Makes me sad. But you can use regular concealer. And I always just highlight the tip of my nose and just up the bridge of my nose. Oh, girl, I'm not good at prices. I'm so sorry. This is called Fresh. It's the lightest one that we have. The lightest color. There's several shades, but that's the lightest. Another little tip that I never really paid much attention to until I started doing it. Oh, and now we found a cat. Knox! Says your dog acts like he's never seen anybody else in his life. Is our beachfront bronzer. If you can see there's, let me open it, that might help. There's two colors. One's a shimmer and one's a matte. No, actually, they're both kind of shimmery. Leave, no, leave me alone. I'm so sorry. This is Malibu, the color that I used. He's still a puppy, I know it. And this is our concealer brush. I bought it. Was gonna send it back, but I kept it. I would say you can use any brush for this. Yes, Phyllis, he does, doesn't he? <laughs> so, this little trick, check this out. I know you've seen people contour, and I'm like, ah, contour. <laughs> well, if you wanna create a cheekbone, Throw on a little bronzer and create you a little cheekbone. Any, anywhere you put the highlighter that's to brighten and accentuate, anywhere you put um, a bronzer or a, I mean, whatever you're contouring with is um, to hide. So I wanna hide this, and you hide this to make your bottom lip appear fuller. And I have a little pug nose, so I like to hide the sides of it a little bit. So I usually just put it on the sides. A lot of people will put it down through here to make their nose appear longer or thinner. How big will he get in pounds? Oh, sis, you can answer that. I, he's already big. So that's Malibu bronzer. And I know this is taking forever, but it's because we're, we're <laughs> girl, <laughs> conceal the 
those puppies. <laughs> I know, I've got one too. Okay. Another favorite is our setting powder. It's translucent, so you can use it with any, any like if you change your foundation shades or whatever, you can um, change it. You can keep this because it's translucent, but it's going to set your foundation and give you a more matte appearance. In the morning, y'all just see me in the morning. I'm like, whoosh, 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 because I'm always running late for work. Okay, so now we have our face ready to go. Let's get some eyebrows. How about that? My eyebrows are so blonde. They're bad. And I don't pluck them, so, like, what I have is what God gave me. So, I'm just going to... Thank the good Lord for giving me eyebrows and thank the good Lord for giving me something to make them darker with. This is our brow pencil. One end has a brush and the other end has the liner. Oh, wait. Why was I getting, was I getting dark? That was weird. It's a little bitty tiny thin and I like it because you can control and you have more wispy eyebrows. But I like to use our eyebrow palette but I still use the brush just to brush them up and get them where I want them. So our eyebrow palette, let's see if there's a, the palette I, that I have <laughs> is brunette. This is a wax, so if you are blessed with eyebrows thicker than mine, you can use the wax when you're finished to like keep them in place. You know, I just brushed them up. I could brush them down and they, believe it or not, don't look too swift. But you can brush them up, put the wax on and it'll hold them in place. There's a dark color, a light color, and then two highlighters at the bottom that I don't use really. But I do love the eyebrow brush. The eyebrow kit brush, eyebrow, yeah. The end, the end that I use is angled. Am I getting dark or am I like fixing a pass out or something? Because I feel like maybe it's, oh, I don't know. I don't know, but I feel like I'm getting, I feel like it's getting light and dark. Maybe it's the set. Knox, I'm fixing to kick your move. No. Booty. Is that better? I feel like that's better. Shadowy is is this better? Give me some hearts if this is better or some thumbs up or something. None. That means it's not better. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna leave it right here for a second. Look, I'll do a bright and dim. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, much better. Okay, good. Thanks, Phyllis. Thank you, sis. Okay. Thanks, Karen. Okay, so I use the darker color to underline my eyebrows. Now, I'm not adding any more that's, that I'm not adding any brows that aren't there. I'm just darkening what I already have. So, I just start, I like the angle because you can, you can, you can work it however you, let's see, I hope you can, here, I'll try to do this. Maybe that'll work. Um, and I go real light with it because this can be really dark. Well, it is really dark. Sorry, y'all. I have to look over in the mirror. And a little Q-tip here. Wipe this off. There we go. Okay, so I've just underlined it. And I'm going to do this side. Hey, Maureen. Oh, it's quiet. Ooh, sorry, y'all. That's what happens when I have to concentrate. They won't be the same, but they'll be close to it. Can now use the, the lighter color to do the little wispies and fill it in. 
Hey girl, how are you? Where's Elizabeth? Is she on here? I was going to ask her about the parade. Did she have parade hangover the next day at work? Elizabeth went to the, I guess, the Eagles Parade. Is that what they, like, call it or something? <laughs> Was she really? Oh, that's great. Okay, so there we go. Finally have some eyebrows. All right, now, the unveiling. How exciting. This is, she didn't, oh, she didn't. Oh, this is Unique's, what is the deal here? Okay, Unique's Beloved Eye Palette. It's a limited edition. It's only available this month, and it's already 55% sold out. So, Phyllis, I'm not, I don't know if you're familiar, but every month, Unique releases a kudos, and it's different every month, and it can either be a new product that they're coming out with, a limited edition that's only available for that month or sometimes they bundle products together and at a discount but it, anyway it's always a cheaper price for the kudos for the month that's what's called the kudos and so this month is the mood struck beloved eye palette and it's gorgeous these colors are so pretty I know it's hard to tell devoted and adored these two are matte and these two are shimmer especially this one unwavering is like a iridescent pink and then alluring is like a mauve color so with the kudos you get a crease shadow brush to use and you get your choice of a lip balm bond so we'll go over that at the end so let's play. Yay. You like shimmers. Girl, you are talking to Shimmer Queen right here. I am really bright. I feel like, okay, maybe that's better. Okay, so I've not played with these, so I may put these on and be like, holy crap, go take that off. I don't know. We'll see. Let me see what this looks like on my arm. Oh, no, this is pretty. Let's see. Um, can you see how it's iridescent? Okay, that's the light one. And then let's see what the... Okay, and then... This one is the other pink, the matte. But it actually... Yeah, I'm going to use the unwavering as my highlighter. I don't like this as my highlighter for me. I like that palette you pushed up earlier. They were pretty colors, I think. The ones that I wore today... That was palette two. That was palette two. Are you talking about these? The smoky eye palette? So I love it because they all are magnetic shut. And in the back, you can still refill this. So it has little holes where you can poke a little toothpick through. It will poke out the color, pop it out, and you can refill it. Yeah, I think that was palette two. Okay, so I'm going to put unwavering on. Oh, yes, girls. This is so pretty. I wish mom was here tonight. She is um, going out to eat with some friends. Her birthday is Valentine's Day. She's a Valentine baby. So I figured that they took her out to eat for her birthday. Um... I put this all over from eyebrow down to eyelash. It just sets, it's, it's great for highlighting and it sets a good um, base for the other colors. I'm afraid that the color's coming off. Why does this eyebrow look so high up? Did I get it too high? There, that's better. I know, I wish she was here. Oh well, we're just going to go with this. Actually, I don't. My eyes are hooded. 
Like if I'm not doing this all the time because I talk with my eyebrows a lot, this is normal. And my eyebrows are very hooded. They hang on my eye, like, um, oh, like on my eyelashes. And my mom's is actually like this. And she needs, she's going to have surgery because as you get older, it starts to droop. And hers droops more on her eyelid and it affects her vision. So I talk with my eyebrows. I'm all the time very animated with my eyebrows. And I have to do my eye makeup. To make my eyes appear wide because if not all the color would be gone and it would look like <laughs> thank you Maureen okay so now let's use I'm going to use some of this ad adorned right here what are you laughing at girl in the in the middle right here I'm just if you I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of toning down the, um, cat just got the dog. It's kind of toning down that, the shimmer, but I'm just doing it right here on the inner corner. These colors are so pretty. I crack you up. You crack me up. I'm going to keep that light. Okay. Now I'm going to use Alluring. Most people just use three colors. I like to use the rainbow. So now we're going to use Alluring. And it is so pretty. Y'all, Some what I like about this so much is this palette can go with any hair color or face like tone of your face color. Complexion. That's what I'm looking for. Complexion. Because I've seen some unique sisters who have dark hair and olive skin. And this is gorgeous. They did good with these colors. And you know, I don't know if... These aren't colors that are out like to put in our refill palette. So I don't know if these colors will become available. I don't know. I just know I like it. What y'all think? It's pretty, isn't it? Now, if you are like most people, you like a like a more natural daytime look, and this is perfect for that. You could use this, and it'd be perfect. I like a more dramatic look, so I'm going to use the dark color, Devoted. And I've seen, it's so neat because you can do so much with this palette. I've seen um, why sisters use the Devoted and put that pink pearl color on top and it totally changes the look. But right now, I don't need this brush. I need one that's um, this one. It's a little more. So when you're putting a color, thank you, Linda. When you're putting a color in your crease, you want to use a crease brush, which is what comes with this. And it's it's more firm and it gives you more control. If I was gonna use this dark color and I used the brush that I just used, it was it's real like this, I'm gonna have dark everywhere and I won't be able to control it. So you wanna use like this is this is you know firm. And narrow let's see here so I'll just start out with I'm gonna start out with a V so let's just do it right there in the crease and right along my lash line and I just use a little bit and I'll go back I feel like I'm painting watercolors because I use a little bit and then I go back and get a little bit more. All of our eyeshadows are pigmented, meaning that a little goes a long way and they're going to stay with you. Love this. Look, I sound like a love bow. Y'all remember that show? 
Did y'all ever watch that show? And I'm going to put a little underneath. Uh, got makeup in the corner of my eye. Yes, you did. I loved Love Boat. And guess what came on after Love Boat? Fantasy Island. Did y'all watch it? Oh, I loved the plane. The plane. Did y'all watch that? Please tell me you did. I don't remember how old I was. I was little, and I, it used to scare the poop out of me. I ain't gonna lie. Because on Fantasy Island, it was one of my favorite shows, but on Fantasy Island, they always had a couple that came. The plane, the plane. They always had a couple that came that was in love. They always had an aspiring actress. And then they always had somebody that was about to get in trouble. And he always, like, did something, and it had a spooky plot to it, and it would scare me to death. I don't know if that came on after Love Boat or Dukes of Hazard. It did make a big difference, didn't it? It's so pretty. Did y'all know that they are not allowed to play the Dukes of Hazard on TV anymore? Does that make anybody sad besides me? Yes, I know. Big difference. I'm telling you, I like. A more dramatic eye. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, he was great. But no, I love Dix Hazard. My husband, of course, he 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 was a Dukes of Hazard, I believe he thinks he was. I can't see this off. Put some right here. Y'all have a good eye and a bad eye. This is my bad eye for eyeshadow because I can't close this eye and see. I'm far sided out of one eye and near sided out of the other. And tell me that's not a big crack of booty. Okay, Paige, if you're on here, your dog is under my feet sleeping and Koopy's over here on the side. It's sweet. Super sweet. Hey, Stacy. Look, girl, this is the kudos for the month. Mm -mm -mm. Loving it. Loving it, loving it. Okay, what do y'all think? I'm loving it too. Mm. Okay, let's do some liner. I, <laughs> I love a lot. I really like our dip and draws. And this is a color that I didn't think I would like. Oh, Falcon Crest in Dallas. Oh, heavens, my grandmother loved those shows. Loved, loved. You have bad eyes. You're so, your blind is about without your glasses. Thank you, Stacy. I do too. It's part of the kudos this month. This is a limited edition palette. Um, let's see. Falcon Crest was a spinoff of Dallas, wasn't it? I believe that's where I may be wrong. I don't know. I didn't watch those. But my grandmother sure did. She loved them. So, this dip and draw liner... Hold on. I can't talk while I use it. It's great. It stays on all day. It doesn't run, doesn't smudge, doesn't smear. You can get them in different colors. And this one, as soon as my eyes will adjust, because I cannot see, it's called Patronized. And it's this color. It's kind of a burgundy. I always thought eyeliner went before. No, eyeliner goes on top. If you put shadow on top of it, it's going to um, mute it out. So, okay, here we go, y'all. This is the eye that does not like to cooperate. And I know you're not supposed to pull your eye. So don't pull your eye because I don't want you to blame me when you get a wrinkle right there. <laughs> But I have to, because I can't see. I have to, like, stare. Oh, well, anyway. Okay. I love these colors. I love, love, love these colors. Okay, so now, oh, if you get a, a dip and draw liner, because it's liquid, lay it down sideways. Don't stand it up, because it's going to be like a marker, and all of your colors are going to go to the bottom, and your tip's going to get dry. So lay it flat. I like to use a liner pencil. 
to um, line the watermark or waterline, whatever you call it, the technical word is, of my top lashes. And a lot of people say you're not supposed to. And until my eye doctor tells me not to, then I'm going to. It makes a big difference. It really defines your eye. You can see I can't stand the um, line that's between like the liner I put on and my eyelashes. Bailey, I mean, shh, I just called him Bailey. Why did you get up? Knox, lay back down. Um, so I put it on the top. I don't put it on the bottom. <coughs> oh. <coughs> okay, Knox, come here. He will get you. That's a cat. Lay down. Down. Uh -uh, down. Good boy. Good boy. Wow. And then Cooper got up and then he got back up. Can you hear that cat? Ooh. This is called Sweet. This is the color. This is my cheek color. Ooh. Ooh, it's about to go down. And because I have the contouring on the side, I only need to put this like right here on the on my on the tips of my my rosy cheeks. I don't have any. I don't have like no. good cheekbones. Oh, Linda said your eyelashes are ticklish. You know, a lot of people's are, and it's sometimes it's hard to get a good straight, solid, smooth line because of that. Okay, Epic Mascara, very favorite mascara in the entire world. I may, I was looking to see if I had a new one because I, this one's just about on his last leg. So always put mascara on your bottom lashes. And y'all, let me just tell you, I got it all over my face, but let me just tell you that I have itty bitty baby lashes, but this mascara Brings them to life. Baby blonde lashes. You like epic too, girl? I do too. It's because my lashes are so little. It it goes on like a good coat without being clumpy. Ooh. When Cooper was a baby and we brought him home <laughs> from the hospital. No, I'm just kidding. That's what I felt like I was fixing to say. <sighs> oh, girl, Phyllis. I do that all the time. And it's like, eek! And then you gotta sit like this because your eyes start watering and then you get mascara everywhere and then it's a hot mess. I know. But put it on the bottom first. Oh, thanks, Linda. Can you see those lashes? They're there. They really are. And I love this because it doesn't clump. Oh, Knox. I used to have to put several coats of mascara on to get them to look like I had enough on to have, to make my eyelashes look good. And then I would take a bobby pin and separate them. Can you believe that? Because it would clump. And my battery just went out. Let me plug it up. I have it right here. I was afraid that would happen. It wouldn't be a show without something going on, would it? Thank you. Thank you. Yes, and that's just one coat of Epic. I usually use two. Okay, so you get your eye palette, and you get the brush, and then you get a lip bonbon. And these are just a little bit of yumminess. Which one did I get? What is this one called? Red Velvet. I have a Red Velvet, and Bailey took my Red Velvet, so I got me a Red Velvet. I love them because... Oh, that has a little label on it. Hold up. Elizabeth. Not Elizabeth. Jennifer. You were on earlier. I don't know if you're still on. And Karen, your lip glosses should be arriving tomorrow or Monday. 
Well, oh, good Jesus. Okay. I like it because the lid screws on and off. Look how pretty. All of you Nick stuff is so pretty. And it keeps it from falling off in your purse. But this, it's a tinted moisturizer. It just has a light tint to it. But I'm going to add to it. Because you know me. Okay, actually, I'm going to take it off. Okay, that thing, my, my favorite lip product going on right now. It changes, but right now, this is, where are you going, Knox? Pouty Lip Liner. It's a, it's a good neutral color, but it's dark enough to be able to tell that you have it on there. And then the lipstick, Unique's lipsticks are pretty too. Um, and then look at the lid. I mean, at the, oh, just so pretty. This is called Sitting <laughs> So Pretty, Sitting Pretty. This is Sitting Pretty. And it's kind of a, kind of matches my eyes. It's kind of a pink opalescent color. I know, I put my lipstick on weird. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm going to put just a little bit of gloss. And then... Mmm. I love that. And now... Oh, I was meant to put this on my eyes. Let me show you how this looks. Okay, this is the lip sparkle. That... Whoever's the mystery hostess, if we have orders tonight, we'll get this for free. And but I and I like to put it on my eyes. Let me show you how pretty it is. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love this stuff. I wear it every day. I love it. Love it. But we can put it on our lips like it's supposed to be made for. Actually, I'm not going to use the brush because I don't want it to get gloss on it. Woo! Oh! Okay. Mmm! I love it! And you know what? It's even really pretty on like a darker lipstick. It doesn't have to be on a pink. I feel like a big old pink something for Valentine's Day. What do y'all think? What do you think? What do y'all think? Do you like the look? Do you, is it too dark? Should I? What do y'all think? What would you do? I'm going to sit here and wait. Let y'all, y'all give me some feedback. And I'm going to clean up my mess. I, I'm loving these eyes though. Thank you, Phyllis. Good, yay, thank you. I do too. I can't wait to um, wear it tomorrow and actually go somewhere. Because, you know, I'm here at the house by myself <laughs> with Cooper and Knox. And I have on what I wore to work from the waist up. <laughs> from the waist down. I have on my jammy pants. Y'all just don't know that. So I'm not going anywhere. But I am really happy with the way it turned out. I'm so excited. Okay, do y'all have any questions? This is how it's going to work. For every $200, $200 counts as a party. So if orders come in and, and it totals $200, which I may can help out a little bit on that. Once it gets to $200, um, then I'll close it and I will choose a mission was just facetiming me she knows i'm live i'll choose a mystery hostess and that mystery hostess gets free product free lip sparkle and um a half off and then so it's totally up to y'all if y'all want to order anything you're welcome to if you do let me know um before you order so i can give you the correct link and if it goes, if it's over 200, I'll close that party and I'll open another one. If it gets to 200, then I will um, have two mystery hostesses. 
So you'll get the hostess credit, a half price item, and the free lip sparkle. So if y'all have any questions, let me know. And I will get that, help you out with that. I think I'm going to take this off. I love this. Do y'all like Premier jewelry? This is Premier. I like it because it's pretty, it, it, but it's not real, real expensive. This ring is Premier. What else do I have on? This sparkly bracelet's Premier. Paige brought me these back from the Bahamas. I love those. Okay, guys. Well, that's it. And if you shared this and you have any friends that want to order anything, excuse me, let me know. You've never heard of Premier Jewelry. Oh, my goodness. That's a rabbit hole. You fall in it and get lost. Never come out. Because they have some really pretty jewelry. Um, if any of your friends want to order, then we'll add that to the order. I'm going to um, leave. Um, I'll close out the party. We'll say, what, 10 o'clock tonight? So... If you can think of anything, if you have any questions or want to order, just message me here. Thank you. And um, I will talk to y'all later. Bye, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. I love y'all so much. And you make my day. And you make my night because I can't wait. I like, I like coming home and hanging out with y'all and chatting. So thank you for that, too. Okay. Have a good weekend. See ya. Bye.